Well, as we do every once in a while in Michigan Magazine, we like to answer some of the letters we get. And some of the questions we've been receiving include our theme song, Soar Like an Eagle. Now, as you know, if you watch the credits, it's uh, co-written by a co-host here, Del Vaughn, along with Phyllis Anderson. And we have Phyllis Anderson from Houghton Lake with us today. How are you today, Phyllis? Fine, very. Thank you. I'm and, happy to be here. Oh, you know, it's a gorgeous autumn day in northern Michigan. Couldn't sure. ask for anything better. You're right. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us the story. People have been asking how the inspiration for Soar Like an Eagle, how you two got together to to write well, and record this song. I'll let Dale start to tell Well, I, I, I talk all the time, folks. <laughs> Go ahead and, and uh, tell the folks out there how we got well, acquainted and how uh, it's come about. Okay, well, we, we got acquainted by, um, we were going to be working on a country western program together, and, and uh, at that, that time, Dale was was doing his thing, and, and I wanted to, to do some singing, so I was contacted, and we got together, and, and uh, then somehow Gene Riley came into the picture and, and talked to, to Barry, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for somebody to write a theme song for an outdoor life program, so Barry happened to think of Dell, and Dell thought of me, and he says, he called me up, and he says, how about would you like to write a song for an outdoor life program? And I said, that sounds great. Let's go for it. Mm -hmm. so, so you two got together then? Yes. Now, what was the process? Well, uh, what happened then, uh, Phyllis, she was uh, had the weekend that uh, her and her husband were going out. This is what Phyllis uh, went woods. out to the woods. Uh -huh. About this time of the year, it was yes. a very inspirational time of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I asked Phyllis to. Uh, I needed a few lines, you know, for the songs are like an eagle. And so when she come back from her weekend. Uh, I got back with her, and she had a whole page. And I said, Phyllis, <laughs> just a few lines. But they were beautiful. So we, we uh, took uh, two or three lines, and mm -hmm. we uh, worked on it, and we inserted it into the, uh, into the body, yeah. or into the song. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, we uh, went to Detroit, and the whole bunch from Houghton Lake there, uh, Janet uh, Breyer, it was Janet mm -hmm. Breyer, and there was um, old Mary Steve. Durden, Mary Durden. Mary Durden. Is Mary Durden Kenny now. Yes. Mm -hmm. A whole whole bunch of us went down there and uh well we spent 23 hours in the recording studio you know, for this one song <laughs> Just, a minute and 20 seconds yeah something that you all got together yeah. and spent 24 hours doing yeah. see the girls yeah. the girls uh nor the the band had even heard this song up until the day that we met at the studio so the first time hearing it they you know they had to learn their lines and their their part in the song so uh, that's what I think took more time was because you know, they were preparing for their their part and uh, but it all went together real well mm -hmm. we really really enjoyed it so we were very tired after oh I bet you were now this is inspired session. by Michigan recorded in a Michigan studio mm -hmm. and recorded by Michigan artists uh, yes. what inspiration did you get from Michigan come on now tell me what, where did the lines come <laughs> from <laughs> Hey, this is a great state to live in. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the beautiful colors around us here today and, and our beautiful uh, the beautiful water, the lakes we have in Michigan. I mean, it's just, it's a fantastic state to live in. It mm -hmm. really is. And mm -hmm. it took me about 10 minutes to write the song because I was just so inspired. And mm -hmm. uh, Well, Dale was telling me when uh, he first got in contact with Gene Riley that uh, Phyllis Anderson had to be the one. Now, why did this come about? Uh, was it well, I have to have Dale answer okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Phyllis uh, had uh, so much uh, inspiration, and uh, she was a person that uh, really believed in uh, what she was doing. And uh, she's just a great person. And uh, thank you. When it all, <laughs> when it all, all said and done, uh, it just the chemistry was there, mm -hmm. and uh, it all fell into place. Yeah, it, it all, all fell, fell into place, place. and uh, yeah. very fortunate. And uh, thanks to the folks out there in TV land that. Uh, Mm -hmm. response that we've been getting. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now we can all soar like an eagle every week in Michigan Magazine. Thank yeah. to these two people and everybody in Hotel Lake <laughs> who got together and Thank put you. their personal efforts in, you know, the instrumental part and the it singing. Was and it, was it was fun. It was fun. I'd love to do it again. Right. Well, you do it every week here on Michigan Magazine. <laughs> yeah. That's yes, good enough for yes. us. Well, thank you. You didn't put me on the spot. No, not yet. <laughs> That's coming. I'm the all next right. interview. So all right. Thank you very much for providing Michigan Magazine thank with you. Soar Like an Eagle, you guys. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you.